Hello everyone, welcome to Graphiculator YouTube channel. I'm going to create this retro style print effect in Photoshop. Let's start this tutorial. Okay, I have opened this image in Photoshop. And let's get start. I'll show you the image size of this image. First go to the image. Image size. It is important to have this same settings to create this color half tone effect. Width of this image is 894 pixels. Height is 1000 pixels and resolution is set to 72 dpi per inch. And I'm going to make a duplicate layer of this original layer. Control J in Windows and Command J on Mac. And I will rename this layer as Retro Effect. Then right click on the layer. Convert to Smart Object to convert this layer to a Smart Object. Then I'm going to make a selection around the model of this image. I'm using Polygon Lasso tool for this. I'm drawing this selection as a rough selection. I need to create this selection like the image has been cut by a scissors. So I only use straight lines for the selection. I'm not using any curved, smooth lines. Once it done go to the layer palette and click on the layer mask icon at the bottom to create a layer mask from the selection. Turn off the original layer. Now we can see this rough edges in the image. Also there are some background colors left between her fingers. To remove this, go to the brush tool. And select a hard edge brush. And reduce the brush size. Need to make sure you select the layer mask in the retro effect layer. And also foreground color need to set to solid black. Then we can paint out this background color like this. And then click on the thumbnail of the retro effect layer. Go to the image. Adjustments. Shadows and highlights. And I will set the shadows amount 50 in this case. Highlights set to 20. Now you will see that these adjustments has been added to the layer as a smart filter. Then I'm going to add some filters to this layer. With the select of retro effect layer, go to the filters. Blur. Smart blur. I will set the radius to 4. And threshold to 25. Hit OK. And again to the filters. This time click on filter gallery. In this window, under the Artistic, select Dry Brush. And set Brush Size to 10. Brush Details also to 10. Reduce the Texture to 1. And then go to the Layer Palette. You can see these little slider icons next to the Smart Filters added. Double click on the slider icon of the Dry Brush Filter we added just now. In this window, change the blending mode to overlay. Hit OK. And again I'm going to the filter gallery. This time I select the poster edge filter. Bring down the edge thickness and edge intensity to 0. Set posterization to 1. and then go again to the filters. Pixelate. Color halftone. Set max radius to 5. I'll leave these screen angle settings as defaults. Now you can see that this color halftone effect has been applied to the image. And double click the slider icon of color halftone effect. Change the blending mode to soft light. Now I need to add a color to the background. Click on the new layer icon. I'll place this new layer under the retro effect layer. And click on the foreground color. And select this kind of teal color for background. Hit Alt Backspace to fill the new layer. Option Delete on Mac. And then I'm going to convert this layer to a smart object. Right click on the layer. Click on Convert to Smart Object. And I'll rename this as Background. 
Then go to the filters again. Pixelate, color halftone. I'll leave the same settings which I used to retro effect layer. And double click on the slider icon of this smart filter. Change the blending mode to soft light. Now I'll create another new layer by clicking on the new layer icon. And bring this new layer all the way up. And I'll rename this as paper texture. Set foreground color to white. Fill the layer from white color. Alt Backspace in Windows. Option Delete in Mac. Convert this new layer also to a smart object. And go to the filters. Filter Gallery. Under the sketch, select Note Paper. Set Image Balance to 30. Graininess to 10. Relief to 17. Change the blending mode of paper texture layer to multiply. You can now see that this paper texture has been applied to the image. Then go to the new adjustment layer. Create solid color adjustment layer. Change the color to a orange color like this. Change the blending mode of solid layer to overlay. And create another adjustment layer. This time I select brightness and contrast. Increase the contrast to all the way up. And create another adjustment layer for vibrance. Set vibrance to minus 30. Set saturation to 10. and I will reduce the opacity of solid adjustment layer to 65. And create another layer by clicking on new layer icon. Rename this layer as stroke. Go to the toolbox and take rectangular marquee tool. Make a selection to cover entire image. Right-click on the image. Stroke. Set stroke width to 25 pixels. Location to inside. Color need to be white. Control D or Command D to diselect. With the select of stroke layer, click on add layer style. Select stroke. Increase the size to 7 pixels. Blend mode to multiply. Color to solid black. OK, that's it. Now you have this retro style print effect in this image. We can compare this with original image to see different. OK, thank you for watching this. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And also share this video to see someone else. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel to see new tutorials and other design stuffs. See you in next video.